All right, hopefully you try to find the axis of symmetry, the vertex, and the y-intercept on your own. If you have questions, please attend the next Skype meeting so that you can ask about that. Let's move on to the next example. An object is launched from a platform. The function that models the path of the object is f of x equals negative 2 times the quantity x minus 3 squared plus 32. Let x be the number of seconds since the object was launched. Let f be the height in feet above the ground. Determine the number of seconds it will take for the object to land. This is what we're solving for. The number of seconds it will take for the object to land. Fill in the symbols according to the prompts and the written description. Why does the equation need to be set equal to zero? Because it's going to be on the ground. We're talking about when it lands. When it lands on the ground, it is zero feet in the air. That's why it's important to set it equal to zero. It says we are supposed to subtract 32 from both sides. Okay. Zero minus 32 is negative 32. That equals negative 2 times the quantity x minus 3 squared. And then it says we are not going to distribute negative 2. That's incorrect. What's well, incorrect for a couple of reasons. First of all, distribution, not an inverse. We are solving by inverses. Why would we distribute? Moreover, I would have to apply the exponent first. And I would have to do x minus 3 times x minus 3. Remember, there's no such thing as distribution of an exponent either. So I can't distribute this exponent and then distribute this. That doesn't make any sense. We're solving by inverses. What would be the inverse of what we see here? Well, it tells us here, divide both sides by negative 2. Negative 32 divided by negative 2 is 16. And that then leaves us with x minus 3 quantity squared on the right-hand side. Why do we divide before we square root? Because we would have had to apply this exponent first and then divide. So if we're undoing that with inverses, then we undo the multiplication before the exponent. We're going backwards. And now how, where do we go from here? It says that we're going to use the square root property on both sides. And remember, the square root property will produce two roots, one that's positive and one that's negative. So when I apply that square root property to both sides of this equation, the square root of 16 is 4, and that equals x minus 3. Or the negative root of 16 is negative 4, and that also equals x minus 3. And for here, we're just going to solve for x by adding 3 to both sides. So 7 is equal to x, and negative 1 is equal to x. Does that match the intercepts that we see in the diagram? Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's saying x is equal to 7. Okay, yes, the object is going to land after 7 seconds. But then x is equal to negative 1. Well, if this is where the rocket is launched from, then that negative 1 would have been the intercept over here, which we really don't even need because that would be before this rocket was even launched. So this is really the only one that we care about for our solution for this context of launching a rocket. We graphed our x-intercepts. How do we determine the axis of symmetry? It's halfway in between these x-intercepts. It's halfway in between negative 1 and 7. So that would be 8 units in between these, meaning I have to count over 4 this way or count over 4 this way in order to find that axis of symmetry at x is equal to 3. And then calculate the y-intercept. Well, every time I want to find the y-intercept, I take my function, f of x is equal to negative 2 times x minus 3 quantity squared plus 32 
substitute 0 in for x. 0 minus 3 is negative 3. Negative 3 times itself is 9. Times negative 2 is negative 14. And negative 4, I'm sorry, negative 18 plus 32 is 14, which I could have seen from the diagram anyways. And then it says, where is the function increasing? The function is increasing in this portion. So you would say between zero seconds and let's see, what was this? Oh yeah, it was three seconds. Or if you wanna be fancy about it and write it as an inequality, you could say, zero is less than x, which is less than three. Please go on to the next video.